Welcome to the tutorial on adding a new platform. After going through this tutorial, you will learn to add a new platform on Clear Path Forward Fabric. This tutorial also explains the types of platforms and various configurations of platforms available in Clear Path Forward Fabric. Let's first understand what is a platform. The Clear Path Forward Fabric is made up of heterogeneous application execution environments consisting of platforms, secure partitions, and workloads. A platform is a computer that is the basic building block of clear path forward fabric. A platform includes Intel-based hardware, Unisys Secure Partitioning also known as SPAR firmware, and a set of platform services. A platform supports the ability to run partition images that are either customer partition images, or, fabric services. The platforms are interconnected with hardware, software, and firmware, to form a core component of the Clear Path Forward Fabric. There are two types of platforms in Clear Path Forward Fabric. Partitionable Enterprise Partition Platform, or PEPP, is Unisys Intel Enterprise Partition Platform, or EPP, that runs SPAR firmware in it and thus can run multiple operating environments simultaneously. Non-Partitionable Enterprise Partition Platform, or NEPP, is Unisys Intel EPP, that does not run SPAR firmware in it, and thus can run only a single operating environment. There are various types of platform configurations, supported by Forward Fabric. One socket EPP is available for NEPP platform type only and consists of four core processors, with up to 96 GB of memory. It has two input-output slots and uses input-output adapters such as, NIC of either 1 GB or 10 GB, HBA of Quad 8 GB and Dual 8 GB Fiber Channel, and HCA of FDR Infini Band. This platform has two types of disks such as, Hard Disk Drive or HDD, and Solid State Drive or SSD. Two socket EPP is available for both NEPP and PEP platform types and consists of 8, 12 and 16 cores processors with 384 gigabytes of memory for NEPP and 372 gigabytes of memory for PEP. This platform configuration has 7 input output slots and uses input output adapters such as NIC of either 1 gigabits or 10 gigabits. HBA of Quad 8 Gigabits and Dual 8 Gigabits Fiber Channel, and HCA of FDR Infini Band. This platform has three types of disks such as, self-encrypting drive or SED, HDD, and SSD. 4-socket EPP is also available for both NEPP and PEP platform types, and consists of 16 and 18 core processors, with 3 terabytes of memory for NEPP, and 3 terabytes for PEP. This platform configuration has 10 input-output slots, but only 9 slots can be populated, and uses same set of input-output adapters and disks as 2-socket EPP. Each of these platform configurations include appropriate RAID controller. Now, let's add a platform, Unclear Path Forward Fabric. Before adding a platform, you should ensure that a few prerequisite configurations are complete. Default IP Address of Platform Management Card, or PMC, and SPAR Management Services, or SMS is configured. The default IP address for PMC is 172.29.255.254, and for SMS is 172.29.255.253. Platform is DC powered on, so that PMC and SMS are pingable, while adding a platform. Platform is connected to Forward Management LAN, or FM LAN. If you have changed the default subnet addresses for the FM LAN, then the first two octets of the platform IP should be same as the subnet address set in the edit system. For example, if you change the default subnet address of FM LAN to 182.32.255.254, then the first two octets, 182.32, should be same for platform IP. And IP addresses must be able to ping from the FM platform. Please note that only the field engineers can change the subnet address of FM LAN. 
Now let's go to Fabric Manager user interface to add a platform. Use your login credentials to login. In the Fabric Manager, click the arrow next to Forward System. A menu appears with the option to add. The Add option is also available on the bottom right corner of the summary pane. Point to Add. And click Platform to add a platform. A message prompts you to verify the power supply and network connection so that the platform is detected to be added to the forward fabric. Click OK to proceed. In the Add Platform window, you should specify the platform details that you want to add. You can select either a PEP or any PP platform type to add to the fabric. If you choose PEP, the platform details available are Platform name, it can contain only characters, lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, number 0 to 9, and hyphen. Platform number, represents order in the rack, where it is placed while cabinet loading. Also, a platform number represents a unique FM LAN IP address, for PMC and SPAR. Clear Path Forward Fabric allows you to add up to 32 platforms. Note that, once you add a platform with an assigned platform number, the number will not appear in the list when you want to add another platform. For example, if you select the platform number as 1, then this number will not be available the next time when you add another platform. Platform description is used to write the details of the platform that you are adding. The maximum length of platform description can be up to 256 alphanumeric characters along with space, hyphen and period. If you choose any PP, then in addition to these platform details, the other details are Partition image name, is a unique name for partition. The maximum length of the partition image name can be up to 15 alphanumeric characters, along with hyphen, without using it as first character of the partition image name. Partition image description, you can use to specify the details of partition image. The maximum length of the partition image description can be up to 256 alphanumeric characters, along with space, hyphen, and period. Please note that the partition image name and partition image description fields appear only if you add a any PP platform, because it acts as a single partition, and further commissioning a partition is not possible in any PP. In this tutorial, let's add a PEP platform to clear path forward fabric. Select PEP as platform type. Specify the platform name. Select a platform number. For this tutorial, let's retain the value 1. Let's specify a brief description of the platform. And then click Add. When is successfully completed, Click Platforms and Partitions. The new platform appears in the Platforms table list. Double click to view the new platform. The summary of the added platform appears in the Details pane. You can now commission a partition image on this newly added platform. This completes adding a platform to Clear Path Forward Fabric. In this tutorial, you have learned to add a new platform to clear path forward fabric. You have also learned the different types of platforms and its configurations. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of clear path services to enrich the value of your clear path applications, data, and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.